Manchester United are spending millions trying to get their next rebuild correct. But why bother with Dan Ashworth, Paul Mitchell or any other genius recruitment analyst when ChatGPT is totally free to use? Well today I'm testing just how good it is at directing a football club's future inside career mode. In fact, I've given the entire list of the United squad, their ratings, their wages and their values to ChatGPT and I've asked it to rebuild the team using a £250 million transfer budget that Manchester United start career mode with. I've also rebuilt the team myself using my own personal football knowledge and this video is all about the direct competition between me and AI at rebuilding Manchester United. Why not give this a go yourself, I'll put the results at the end of this video so you can try and beat both me and the AI and let me know in the comments if you do somehow manage to do that. To prevent any bias in my rebuild, this is the team that I've put together first before even using the AI. I've sold Casemiro, Anthony and Varane and I've replaced them with Tadebo, Gamerish and Adamola Lookman. Sure, we've still got plenty of budget left to use later in the season, but let's have a look at how ChatGPT recommends we rebuild the Red Devils. So to make this work, I've copied all of the latest Manchester United squad information from SoFIFA into ChatGPT. This means it now knows the budget, it knows the overall ratings, ages, positions and values of every player in the squad, and then I've also given it the ratings, values, positions and ages of the top 250 players in the FC24 database. Of course, ChatGPT does have some knowledge of football already, so I'm sure it has a decent idea of some of the players Manchester United have been linked with in real life, as well as some players that Manchester United could be linked with in the future. So let's have a look at what it gives us. And it does actually make quite a lot of sense. Maguire, Martial and McTominay are all going to be sold. Meanwhile, we're going to sign Matis De Ligt, Frankie De Jong and Victor Osimhen, and they're all going to join the club straight away. I'll be honest, these signings look way better than the ones that I've already made, but definitely used a lot more of the budget than I did. With the last bit of my budget, in fact, I'm going to go out and grab Kavara Skilia, and boom, our team is now ready for the new season. But because we can't do two-player career mode, I'm going to first simulate my season, and then simulate the AI season, and in this video, I'll do them month by month so it's a little bit more interesting and a bit more of a competition come the end of the year. Now, our August was actually pretty decent. We got good wins against Forest and Wolves, and September was good too, but the AIs was better. In fact, after two months, I was a couple of points behind ChatGPT. While they were actually challenged for the league title, I think about fourth place was about where our team deserved to be. Let's be honest, the calendar in career mode is a little bit boring, so to make this video a bit more interesting, here are some of the goals that both teams scored. And of course, to make things fair, every game in this video was actually played CPU versus CPU. To make things a little bit more easy to understand, every game that you see in the home kit is my team, and every time you see the away or the third kit, that means you're watching the AI's team. So, we now need to come from behind if we're going to win this challenge, and sure, it's only about 5 points now, but we actually got quite lucky when ChatGPT went on a bit of a losing streak. They lost 3 games in a row, and that would probably cost Ten Hag his job in real life, but all it's done for this challenge is put me back into pole position. We were actually in the same situation by Christmas. I was still ahead, and Adamola Lookman was such a good signing. He was scoring so many nice goals, and Guimaraes was easily outclassing Frankie de Jong, and the AI's Osimhen signing wasn't actually doing much better than our Hoyland signing that was of course already in the squad. Let's be fair on ChatGPT, because I'm ahead, I'll cheat a little bit more budget into their save and give the January transfer window a go. I'll go first again, and because I haven't got too much money, I'll do one of the most career mode moves of all time and sign Manuel Neuer. He's so old, his value is basically nothing, but his overall rating is still higher than Onana and he should be able to play a little bit better than him for the rest of the year. I also decided to sell Casemiro when I got a nice bid for him. That means that both me and the AI have decided it's time for Casemiro to leave Manchester United. I'm going to replace him with a much less valued player, Ruben Neves. I'm not sure why he's cheaper, but he's got high potential, he's much quicker and he should actually improve our squad. To be honest, the AI probably thinks that Ruben Neves is still at Wolves, but what will they suggest as their signings? Well, it's not actually a great start, because the three players that the AI suggested was Ajax Urien Timber, Brighton's Moises Caicedo and Frankfurt's Colo Moani. All three of these players aren't actually at those teams anymore, so I ask again and this time things are actually a bit better. Manchester United's AI team is signing Piero Hincapi and Manuel Ugarte 
which is quite funny because Ugarte actually agreed to sign for United on real life on the day that I was writing this video. Is this proof that Jim Ratcliffe is somehow using ChatGPT to decide signings? Well, all the proof that I have shows that he clearly is. Anyway, that's two pretty nice signings by the AI, and a midfield of Bruno, De Jong and Ugarte is actually ridiculously balanced. I'd say it probably just beats my Bruno, Bruno and Neves combination, but it would be a really fun match to watch if these two teams could actually play against each other. Anyway, back to simulating the season, and on the pitch, January was also a really good month for both of us, as was February and as was March. We did actually get a little bit further than the AI in the Europa League. I made it to the quarterfinal where we lost to Inter, meanwhile they only made it to the round of 16, which was both better than United did in real life. So April was a month that the AI totally smashed. They won every single game, and while our team was unbeaten, the gap actually closed down to just one point. This meant that the entire challenge came just down to the month of May. Am I about to get totally shown up by an AI that can't even think original thoughts? Well, we're about to find out. So, entering May, there was actually only three matches left to go, and the gap was still at one point. The first of the three games, I won, and if we swap back across to the AI's team, they would also go on to win. The second game, I actually lost, which gave a massive advantage to the AI, but they would only draw. It was a fairly tough game to be fair, but that meant going into the last game, we were level on points, and I did think the goal difference was going to make a big difference. Because we were ahead on goal difference, I actually gave the AI a chance to change their formation to go more attacking, but they actually chose the total opposite. While my team went into this last game playing a 4-2-4, the AI went into this game playing a 5-4-1. It was a total clash of styles, but Turns out that both of them were actually the correct decision. Both our versions of United would win the game, meaning we were level on points, but just scraped to win by better goal difference. Somehow our Hoyland getting more than 20 goals, while their Aussie men only got 15, was the biggest difference between our rebuilds. Maybe in a couple of years, AI will finally be able to rebuild Manchester United better than I can, but as it stands, humans are still better than AI at playing FIFA career mode. If you think you're better than me at playing FIFA career mode, as I said, give this a go, try and rebuild Manchester United with a £250 million budget and see if you can get more points than this and better goal difference than this. On screen right now is also the calendar page so you can see the results of every single game on a month by month basis. Make sure to head over to the Discord which is linked in the description below if you want to actually send me any screenshots of your save. And of course, post any of your saves in there if you want to be in any of the save review videos which you can watch by clicking the video linked on screen right now. But really, I do appreciate this. Thank you for watching. Sorry if I sound weird because I am a little bit ill at the minute. And thanks for watching. Cheers and goodbye.